Stay hungry. Stay young at heart. Take those risks. You are going to change the world around you in big ways and in small. You are planting seeds when you talk. At some point, you're going to eat that fruit. My challenge is make sure you're planting the right kind of seeds. If you want apples, you have to sow apple seeds. If you want oranges, you can't plant cactus seeds, poison ivy seeds, mushroom seeds. You're going to reap fruit from the exact seeds that you've been sowing. In other words, you can't talk negative and expect to live a positive life. You can't talk defeat and expect to have victory. You can't talk lack, not enough, can't afford it, never get ahead, and expect to have abundance. If you have a poor mouth, you're going to have a poor life. If you don't like what you're seeing, start sowing some different seeds. We may not realize it, but we're always feeding ourselves. What we watch, listen to, the people we're around, the thoughts we're dwelling on, that's feeding our inner man. If you go to lunch with people that talk bad about the boss, make fun of a co-worker, put down a friend, they're feeding you gossip, feeding you jealousy, feeding you disrespect. Here's the key. Whatever you feed is going to grow. You may not like what they're feeding you. You're a nice person. But if you continue to hang around them, before long, you'll be gossiping. You'll be critical. You'll be disrespectful. Why? Because you kept feeding the wrong things. If you're always feeding negative thoughts, thinking, I'll never get well, I'll never meet the right person, you're feeding doubt, feeding mediocrity, feeding fear. If you know exactly what you want to be, you need to spend as much time with people that are actually that already. You cannot let a fear of failure, or a fear of comparison, or a fear of judgment stop you from doing what's going to make you great. You cannot succeed without this risk of failure. You cannot have a voice without the risk of criticism. And you cannot love without the risk of loss. You must go out and you must take these risks. You don't have the time to waste time because time doesn't wait till you discover your purpose. If you don't know why you was born, time is still moving. And if you discover your purpose at 90 years old, it's too late. You don't know how young you are. <laughs> what if you die in two years? You're pretty old right now. you got two years left. And if you're 50 years old and you're feeling discouraged, well, remember the advice about planting a tree. When's the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago or today? So if you're 50 and you feel like life left you behind, what? Get started right now. Better late than never. Better late than never. Don't think about time.